Hi, and welcome to another C++ Noob to Pro tutorial from Someone9031. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you guys about memory, your computer's RAM, how it works, stuff like that. And I'll also be going over memory address um, and a lead up to doing pointers, which I'll cover in the next tutorial. So, um, the first thing I'm going to do is talk to you guys a little about how the memory inside your computer works. So basically, there's two places inside your memory, inside your computer, where things are stored. There's your hard drive and your RAM. So you can think of, it, of this as like you're building something. So you have your tool shed, which you can have lots and lots of tools and materials in it, and then you have your toolbox. So the tool shed can hold lots and lots of stuff, but it takes longer to go there, get it, and come back. So that's where your toolbox come in comes in. Your toolbox um, is really easy. You just reach down and grab it. It's really fast, but uh, it's small and it doesn't have much room. So this is basically like your hard drive and your RAM. Your hard drive's the tool shed. It's really, really big, holds lots and lots of stuff, but it's really slow to get to and access information from. But your RAM, that, is really, really fast, but doesn't hold very much stuff. Can't hold very much stuff. So, um, when we're talking about programming, we're going to be talking about, when we say memory, we're going to be talking about uh, your RAM, which stands for Random Access Memory. So, you can think of your RAM, so, sort of as um, a big, giant warehouse. You know, I know I said it's not, can't hold very much stuff, but it's still very, very big compared to, like, for the variables we're going to be making that, that are, like, only four bytes, like, integers are only four bytes. Um, your RAM can hold uh, millions or billions of bytes. So you can think of it as a giant warehouse that, can that has little tiny storage boxes and then each box holds one byte of data. So we have here a very simple variable. Um, it's an integer called number with the value 100 assigned to it. Okay, so we know integers uh, have a size of four bytes, so that means four uh, little storage boxes in that big giant warehouse called RAM is going to be filled with this variable number. And then each of those little tiny boxes in that in that warehouse has a special number. Just uh, it's called the memory address. It's um, the address that the compiler or whatever can use to get back to that variable. It's just like every house on your street has a unique address so people can get to it. So um, when you create a variable in C++, the compiler will uh, automatically allocate four of those little boxes or four bytes of memory to your variable if it's an integer and then it will remember uh, the memory address of the first box or the first byte of your variable so it can get back there. So, uh, so let's just print out, we can print out number like this. Okay. Now normally we are not really concerned about um, how the memory works. The compiler just takes care of it, but when we start doing pointers, we're going to need to access that memory. So if you want to access the memory, um, so address of number, if you want to access the memory, you use an operator called the address of operator, or the and or ampersand operator, so it's this right here, that Okay, so that is the address. When used in this context, it is the address of operator. So then you put the variable that you want to find the address of, like that. So if you run the program now, okay, here we go. We have uh, number 100, just like we assigned it, and an address of number 0027F9D4. It'll probably di be different on uh, your computer depending on what kind of system you have and it will be different every single time you run the program because it is allocated um, a different uh, storage box or whatever. Okay, and then there's one more thing I need to show you. Okay, so if you take the number and now we assign it to say 2 and then let's copy this over. OK, 
Okay, so number is 100, like before, address of number 0031 FC 9C. Now, number we've assigned to 2, but the address of number is still the same, 0031 FC 9C. So, no matter what you assign your number to, or your variable to, the address will always stay the same. So, the compiler will always be able to get back to it. So, that's basically all I have to say about uh, um, memory. Now, you might be wondering, why do we need to know this? Because the compiler handles it by itself very well. Well, um, I'll be talking about that in the next tutorial. Um, you just need to know right now that we need to access memory to be able to do pointers, because that's what pointers are, basically. So, if you like this video, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.